Hi, this is Rainbow Unicorn Cat 1. Today we're going to talk about names that American girls should have used for Nikki and Isabel. I promised to make this video for you a while ago, and I finally did. So let's see what names were popular in the 80s. By the way, if you're new to my channel and interested in all things American Girl but not yet subscribed, please do so. And turn on that notification bell so YouTube will let you know every time I post a new video. I usually post every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But sometimes I post on other days as well. I always post the latest American Girl news and leaks. I always post crafts and unboxing. First, let's look at the origins of the names Nikki and Isabel and see why American Girl chose them. Nikki is most likely short for Nicole. It's a French name that comes from Greek and means victory in people. If you are into ancient history, you must have heard of the goddess Victory called Nike. This is a world famous statue of her. And of course you've heard of the company called Nike that makes sportswear. Nike is associated with Victory. And it sounds like a good name for a new historical character because she seems to be very driven and into sports. By the way, I'm getting all this info from Wikipedia. I'll put the link to the articles in the description below. It turns out Isabel is a Spanish name, but it originates from Elizabeth. Elizabeth comes from Hebrew and means my God is an oath. It's a very pretty name. Well, let's take a look at the names that were popular for girls born in the late 80s. I'm gonna show you names that were popular in this country for girls born between 1985 and 1989. This is the website I'm getting my information from. First, let's take a look at 1985. If Nikki and Isabel were born in 1985, they'd be turning 14 in 1999. That's quite a possibility because there's the rumor that they're gonna be older. And that makes sense since Isabel's collection is kind of mature. And if they're turning 14, there's a possibility for them to have a bat mitzvah in their story. So now let's take a look at the list. Number one most popular name was Jessica. Number two, Ashley. Number three, Jennifer. Number four, Amanda. Number five, Sarah. Number six, Stephanie. Number seven, Nicole. Number eight, Heather. Number nine, Elizabeth. Number 10, Megan. Number 11, Melissa. Number 12, Christina. Number 13, Rachel. Number 14, Laura. Number 15, Lauren. Number 16, Amber. Number 17, Brittany. Number 18, Danielle. Number 19, Kimberly. 20, Amy. 21, Crystal. Number 22, Michelle. Number 23, Tiffany. Number 24, Emily. Number 25, Rebecca. I'm pretty sure Nikki is short for Nicole, so it kind of checks out since it was a popular name. Now let's take a look at 1986. Here are the most popular names. Jessica, Ashley, Amanda, Jennifer, Sarah, Stephanie, Nicole, Brittany, Heather, Elizabeth, Megan, Melissa, Amber, Lauren, Rachel, Danielle, Tiffany, Kimberly, Christina, Laura, Samantha, Amy, Michelle, Emily, and Crystal. These are almost exactly the same names that were popular in 1985. Let's take a look at 1987, maybe there's something different. Here's the list of popular names in 1987. Jessica, Ashley, Amanda, Jennifer, Sarah, Stephanie, Brittany, Nicole, Heather, Elizabeth, Samantha, Megan, Melissa, Danielle, Amber, Lauren, Rachel, Tiffany, Emily, Christina, Kimberly, Michelle, Laura, Amy and Rebecca. This sounds very similar to the previous two years. Let's take a look at 1988. Jessica, Ashley, Amanda, Sarah, Jennifer, Brittany, Stephanie, Samantha, Nicole, Elizabeth, Lauren, Megan, Tiffany, Heather, Amber, Melissa, Danielle, Emily, Rachel, Kayla, Michelle, Christina, Laura, Courtney, and Kimberly. And the last year we're going to look at is 1989. Here's the list of the most popular girl names. Jessica, Ashley, Brittany, Amanda, Sarah, Samantha, Jennifer, Stephanie, 
Lauren, Elizabeth, Megan, Nicole, Emily, Amber, Heather, Tiffany, Danielle, Rachel, Melissa, Kayla, Courtney, Michelle, Christina, Rebecca, and Laura. As you can see, there are a lot of names American Girl could have picked. One of the twins definitely should have been named Jessica, Ashley, Brittany, or Amanda. Those were all super popular names. I can see how Nikki got picked. Nicole was a consistently popular name at the time, but American Girl already has Nikki. Nikki Fleming was Girl of the Year 2007, and it's absolutely crazy they couldn't choose a different name from this list. I understand that Nikki Hoffman and Nikki Fleming are from different lines. One's historical, one's Girl of the Year. And also most kids right now don't know who Nikki Fleming is, but they could have put some extra effort for us collectors. It's also annoying that Nikki spelt the same way as Nikki Fleming. And Isabel spelt differently than Isabel Palmer. Isabel Palmer was Girl of the Year 2014. I don't understand why they didn't name her any different name. So many names to choose from. I think they should have named her Jennifer or Tiffany. Please let me know in the comments what you think American Girl should have named Nikki and Isabel. Actually, I changed my mind. I think Isabel should have been named Jessica. I'm totally getting Jessica vibes from her. It turns out Jessica is Hebrew in origin. This is very fitting since the Hoffman twins are Jewish. And the name Jessica was mentioned for the first time in a Shakespeare play. The play is called The Merchant of Venice. American Girl should have totally picked this name. Anyway, definitely drop me a comment below what you think would be better names. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And if you enjoy all things American Girl but not yet subscribed, please do so. And turn on that notification bell so YouTube will let you know every time I post a new video. I usually post every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but sometimes I post on other days as well. I always post the latest American Girl news and leaks. I also post crafts and unboxing. Thanks for watching and see you next time!